Hello everyone, welcome to a new class in Cork Americas TV. Today, we are going to learn about my favorite fruit, strawberries. Join me in this quick video to learn the key aspects to grow tasty strawberries. Let's first understand this crop. We need to accept the fact that the strawberries are not an easy crop. In order to get good yield and fruit quality, we need to work a lot on key variables like the environment, the root zone, and nutrients. So let's start with the environment, including temperature and humidity. A strawberry crop is very sensitive to different variables, even including light, but let's now focus for now on temperature and humidity. Speaking about humidity, this variable is related to pest incidence and also nutrient uptake. Low humidity levels can trigger pest incidence, including the strawberry most common nightmare, spider mites. In order to avoid this pest, you need to maintain night and daytime humidity levels within the recommended numbers. Also, calcium deficiency is something that you can find when you grow strawberries in low humidity levels. In order to avoid deep burn or calcium deficiency, we need to work on nighttime humidity, maintaining a relative humidity of 75% during the night. When nighttime humidity is below these numbers, it's common to find deep burn in the calyx and also strawberry leaves. If it's hard to maintain these conditions of humidity inside of your growing system, it's possible to work with alternative treatments of humidity in order to avoid calcium deficiency. On the other hand, high humidity levels can trigger fungi development and some very fastidious pests like powder mildew and botrytis. Here you can see how this disease can be spotted on your plant leaves and fruits. In order to avoid all these problems, it's recommendable to maintain a relative humidity of 60% during the day and 75% during nighttime. Moving now to temperature. Temperature can be really important for fruit quality. Nighttime in particular can affect the strawberry flavor. Based on research done by Dr. Sherry Kubota and a specialist in hydroponic strawberry production at the Ohio State University, we know now that when night temperature exceeds 16 to 18 degrees Celsius, irritable acidity increases, reducing sugar acid ratio and affecting a strawberry flavor. Recommendation on air temperature for a strawberry goes as follows. We need to work to maintain 20 to 24 degrees Celsius during the daytime. And we need to work on maintaining the nighttime temperature from 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. Temperature below 10 degrees Celsius can affect photosynthesis. Now let's move to a very important aspect when growing strawberries, the root zone. And let's learn about substrates and nutrients. By optimizing physical, chemical, and biological properties at the root zone, we can increase yield in a strawberry by 30%. So it's very important to pay attention to these variables. The strawberries grows better in substrates with high porosity. It's recommendable to use a substrate containing 15% air porosity and 60% of water holding capacity. pH is also important. Strawberry leaves tend to develop iron deficiency under high pH levels. We need to find a substrate that helps us maintaining the root zone with a pH of 6 to 6.5 after irrigation. And guess what? Volume is also important. A strawberry grows better in a hydroponic system with substrate and drip irrigation. We recommend to use at least two liters of substrate per plant and to use tall containers to promote good drainage, just like the strawberry crops from Beacon Camp. 
the strawberry is unique and can differ from other crops in terms of nutrition content. When using a nutrient recipe, we need to always consider to keep electrical conductivity under one decimal. When electrical conductivity exceeds 1.2 decimal, we need to irrigate with water to avoid salt accumulations in the substrate. Electrical conductivity for a strawberry should be low. So we need also to pay attention to our water source in order to provide only the nutrients required by this crop. So strawberry can be really different from other fruiting crops like tomato or cucumber, for example. Are you looking to learn a little bit more? A strawberry can be complex, but learning about the factors involved in good quality and yield, you can get good results. In Orto Americas, we offer also educational tools for you. So we invite you to our next class of hydroponic strawberry production, where you are going to be able to learn so much more about this delicious and interesting crop. I hope you find this information helpful. Remember, my name is Carla Garcia, Horto Americas Technical Service. See you on the next one.